after eight rounds, Evan Lamy, Dutch Grandmaster, is uh, in the lead, in the firm lead, half a point ahead of uh, Shakriya Mamajarov. So that's only yep. half a point. That's, half a that's, point, that's, that's, that's gone, with, uh, gone in the blink of an eye. Especially uh, with um, Blitz 12 <laughs> rounds to go. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but on the other hand, uh, in favour of Evan Lamy, we can say that he uh, he's already uh, played uh, several of his closest rivals. He's already played Lamajarov, Shirov, uh, Van Weyli. So he's uh, he's doing very well. Yep. And so, are we going to have a look at some of the other dudes or not? Um, well, no, we, we have not. another we have a look at another dude. If we look at Bartłomie Eberla. Yeah. from Poland who's playing. Yeah, that's true, that's true. So let's focus on that. Yeah, yeah. let's go with the, the leader for the moment. And Evan is sitting ready there. So he um, couldn't believe his luck when he won the Reykjavik Open, when he was uh, leading the tournament, well, yeah. all through the tournament. In fact, uh, he, he, well, he lost in the last game when he already had secured uh, yeah. tournament victory. And, now he's sitting and he was a bit annoyed about that. He told me that on, on our city tour. Yeah, but can you imagine? Uh, yeah. you play your dream tournament. And, and then I did, it, was, it was like, the, I, I said to him, it was like playing the, the, the mm. perfect concert where you're just, yeah. you know, just everything absolutely wonderful and your last mm. note, you miss your chord. <laughs> 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 It's a bum nose. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. uh, that, that's pr probably how he felt. You know, it was you just. Fall, just you <laughs> fall off the stage while you're bowing to the. That's it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, um, but of course. Maybe that, a that better was, analogy. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was. I mean, he lost his last game against Alianov, which is uh, not uh, something that you uh, should be terribly yeah. unhappy about. So, what's his rating, Cabell? I, I don't know him uh, that well, actually. He I'll be quite is uh, uh, 56. That is very respectable. And of course, I have no idea if we pronounce his family name correctly as he's Polish. Yeah. So we've got a um, Queen's, Queen's Gambit, actually. Um, and uh, looks uh, okay ish. For black, probably slightly better. Somehow the the bishop is uh, the black bishop shouldn't be on d6; it should be on e7. But I understand how it got like this. Mm -hmm. well, I think he just takes he just takes this pawn, and he, mm -hmm. it should be should be all right. Mm -hmm. Should be absolutely fine for. Uh, for black. That's what he did. And where is this game? Is that it? Yep. So he takes an H six and he goes back to H four. It's funny it should be there. Yeah. Don't know what's uh, we've got some little okay, technical we, we, we got we've got it at least in front of us. Mm. Um, it looks like G five has to be played. Oh, uh, G five should be the 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 move. And if G five is not the move, White is slightly better. Bishop e7 could also be played, just to get out of the pin. The pin is slightly annoying. He's gone g5. Okay. Macaulay, can we ask for a little help here? We got... Somehow it's not updating quite. But you can... I don't know why we can't see this position. But, but I think it, it is totally fine. But it just it's, takes some time. It's taking some seconds. Yeah. yeah, this is all fine. So it looks uh, looks at, at okay for uh, 
about, about approximately mm. even, I would say. Mm. Normally in blitz chess, you shouldn't worry too much about delicate positional judgments. Mm. You should just count the pieces. <laughs> <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> yes, yeah, so, I'm okay. So, so can White pin any hopes on this weakened king side? Well, I like don't, I don't think so. I, yeah. I think Rook D8 is probably good enough. Rook A D8 is good mm. enough, or Rook even Rook, Rook A D8 I'd like yeah. uh, because, but, well, maybe not. There is a little trick there. It's so a Rook F D8 might be mm. there. No. Rook F D8 might be the right move. Because you have to keep an eye on the A6 pawn? Yeah, you have to keep an eye there. Yeah. It's gone King G7. Oh, that's very calm. But he, it's a move you want to play. There's no question about that. King G7 is, is an attractive move. Uh, in general, when your opponent has a a white squared bishop, you want your king on a dark square, just. It's very safe play for Erwin. Yeah. He, um, does he have a very tiny pool? Um, tiny, I wouldn't get too yeah. excited about it. I wouldn't no. get too worked up about it. He's, he's got yeah. something to play for. I mean, yeah, he, uh, yeah. Now we have some exchanging of pieces and he's gone with his queen on a dark square about um, possibly coming into d4. Looks a tad better for, looks a tad better for, uh, for white. Only because of the uh, the presence of queens, because white still has attacking possibilities. This is important. Mm -hmm. uh, if this were just a simple end game, it would be no problem at all. Yeah, you mean black just has to watch. Yeah, he has to watch. Yeah, some. And we've got some some more moves, and mm -hmm. he's going for Abella's. Looks like he's going for a perpetual check. He's dropped a pawn. Mm. So two results again. Mm. Uh, so Owen Lamy is uh, yeah. We've got some more moves. He's taken. Mm. He's taken a pawn. It must be very very difficult for him to to win this. But mm. still, it's it's two results. Only he is some some nervy moves, but uh, okay, he yeah, is no, trying. oh, he, he is, is no, no, he's definitely trying, and in fact, he's making a lot of progress. Mm -hmm. In fact, I would suggest he maybe is winning here. Because the yeah, the H pawn. Up. There's another pawn dropping off. Mm -hmm. Somehow we lost the the transmission. Yeah. Um. He's making it awkward for him to defend. Now, this has got to be a winning position for Lamy. He's in red hot form. Yes. Red hot. Some tricky yeah. stuff. Hard to see it. Oh, yeah, and now he's going to push his, is he going to push his F pawn? Is that good? No, first prevent some mm. penetration. Now he comes over. Now he's got a discovered check. He can move his king with discovered check. Mm. But looks like a winning position. He's a couple of pawns up here. Must be over. Yeah, he's red, red hot. Mm. 
So closing in on a, on a win and um, not absolutely simple. You've always got to be careful of uh, kids standing yeah, in front can, of the can, camera. Kids standing in front of the camera. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, and he's mated, it mated yeah. him, mated him. Yeah, excellent. That is impressive. Yeah. Erwin Lamy, he wins yeah. once again. So far yeah. he's um, dropped half a point. And uh, he's the uh, the clear leader. So it, 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 it uh, paid off uh, yesterday. When, uh, when we went out for a brief walk and um, Nigel and I wanted to see the mausoleum here and Alina was going to take photos there and I said, isn't uh, Evan coming? No, Evan is going to play some blitz online to warm up. He um, he warmed up well because he's uh, dominating the tournament so far. He's uh, he's in clear lead. I, let me check if um, what uh, Mamajarov did. Can I see that? No, I don't have that game here. Um, We'll, uh, we'll look at the, at the tournament situation after, after we've taken a brief break and we'll be back with the pairings for the, for the next round, round 10. And uh, then we'll be close to halfway through the uh, Rabat Marathon. Uh, we're going to take a brief break, Nigel. It's, um, right. We, we okay. can't look at the other games, so I don't know what um, Mamajaro yeah. did. Uh, in any case, there's one person dominating this event so far and that's Evan Lamy. From the Netherlands, he uh, only dropped half a point so far and uh, beat uh, several serious rivals. Uh, maybe one of them was a bit lucky against Mamajarov when he was lost, but he That's also blitz chess. That's blitz chess. And he beat him, and he beat Alexei Shirov too, and yeah. he beat uh, Luke van Weyli, and now he's just beaten Bartlemey Ebela from he's, Poland. Yeah, he's motoring. Yes. So um, let's see if he can uh, continue that pace. Uh, we'll be back after a brief break and uh, we hope that uh, you'll join us again then. See you. Later.